Hey guys, Sensei Matt here, and we are doing another secondary review of the Cold Steel Drop Forge Tunter. Uh, I have a carry option, and that carry option was a neck knife. So obviously, I I have the Cold Steel on. It's right here, and I have my seatbelt on. And we're talking about a concealed carry. If uh, if you were concealed carrying a gun right now, chances are you would probably have it. Uh, most people will keep it on their side. When it's on your side, it's almost inaccessible when you have the seatbelt on. If you have an appendix, it's also a little difficult because you have that lower seatbelt strap right on the middle. There is a possibility that you might be able to get it out quicker with appendix than if you obviously we're carrying on your side but we're not talking about a gun right now we're talking about a knife this could be uh, many things it could be uh, a carjacking it could be an accident and you have to get this off quickly uh, it, there's a lot of things that could be the case but we needed to get it out quick so basically uh, how this would happen is getting that down so you can see this right you have a belt here and you have a belt here do we have the ability to get this blade in a split second uh, I believe it's way faster than most things that you can get and if you need to cut this it could be a primary tool for you because a knife is a tool it's not necessarily a weapon so basically, this is a, a tool. Now you could use your tool as a weapon uh, in a self-defense self situation or in a life-saving situation. So let's see how this goes. One, two, three. And this will go back in very easy. So how I got the rig set up is you could actually have it on your chest or you could have it on your back and still have accessibility to it so uh, I'll, I'll try to sit up a little bit I'll even raise my chair a little everything is on guys I have the seatbelt high I have the seatbelt low I have my shirt over it I have a secondary belt on but once the shirt comes up and that comes out this is in many different areas that you can do so um, that was just a quick tip for you. It doesn't have to be a cold steel drop forge tunter. It could be any type of neck knife, but you uh, you want something that's reliable and you want a good strapping. This is the tip. Um, right now I have paracord with this, but paracord is actually dangerous. If someone was in the back seat and they grabbed this, they could actually strangle me with it and I might not even be able to get it off. Uh, so please be aware of that. A lot of times we use ball link chain and if it was a self-defense situation it could get ripped off uh, so you want the option to ha being able to rip it off yourself uh, if it was too tight and you couldn't rip it off it, it could be dangerous to you so uh, I might as well this should, that's the cold steel drop forged hunter one piece of steel totally flat it's about seven ounces it's borderline neck uh, some people would think this is a little bit too big for a neck knife uh, but for what I use it for it's a tool I want to be able to access it quickly I hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it please uh, like and subscribe and hopefully I'll do more cool videos for you uh, lunch is over I'll see you soon thank you